Hey folks, and welcome to what is going to be called Toy Ventures. My wife named that, and I have to give her credit. I thought this might be an interesting series for YouTube and the Facebook page. is just me talking about different things in my collection that I haven't seen in other places. I've been collecting for over 30 years, and I sure love talking about toys. And I've picked up a lot of things that are a bit unusual and have kind of fun stories behind them, so I thought this would be a terrific idea for an ongoing series. So I'll probably be doing this once or twice a month, hopefully. Uh, our first subject is a piece from 1977, and it is the Shadow Crime Fighter Detection Belt. Uh, this is by an odd company called Madison Industries. Madison Industries seems to have been owned by a pharmaceutical company, if I recall, and um, they were run out of New Jersey. For some reason, they licensed the Shadow pretty heavily in the late 70s. Most of the toys are copies of the AHI and Remco stuff that they did for Batman. In fact, there's even a, a silver version of the Batmobile with a little Shadow figure in it. Um, even this... Uh, the Crime Fighter Detection Belt is a complete knockoff of the utility belts that Remco was selling at the time. Why they went for the Shadow, I don't know. But I should mention that most toy industry magazines at the time did have an ad in the back pretty regularly promoting the Shadow. So there was there was an, somebody actively trying to sell the Shadow license to toy makers. And I guess they found their, their guy in Madison uh, Imports here. Um, I'm going to take this out of the box and take a look at it, but I wanted to point out this was a gift to me from my friend Matt. Uh, Matt is probably one of the biggest shadow collectors I know. He has some amazing stuff, and you can see some of it at Plaid Stallions, and I'll put the link down. We did a little gallery of most of this kind of weird 70s shadow merchandise, but let's take it out of the box and have a look. So here we have it. Um, it is pretty much your stereotypical... Uh, utility belt. The addition of the revolver is um, rare. I don't think a lot of the Remco ones had that. Maybe the, maybe they did a chips one, I'm not sure. But that is completely true to the shadow, as you did have a gun. Handcuffs, of course, are an essential. The whistle's a nice touch. And the crime fighter uh, signal thing here actually is battery operated with light. So this is kind of a quality toy. And of course, I love the belt buckle. Um, I'm not sure how many kids would know who the Shadow was in the late 70s, uh, but I would say that they'd still probably dig this as a toy because it is kind of fun and it's a role play item. Uh, I never had any Shadow toys, never saw them, but I, I could see myself as a kid being fascinated and wanting to know who the hell he was. Uh, I, I can remember that sort of thing going on. A lot of kind of past their prime or, or less than exposed heroes did get kind of rack toy merchandise in the 70s, like Flash Gordon when he didn't have a, a TV series, or The Phantom, and of course Tarzan. He, he was a perennial in that kind of merchandise. So it's not that weird that the Shadow has this. It's just kind of like a bit of a head-scratcher. Uh, I'll get into more Madison toys hopefully in the future, but I'd love to know what you think of this series and what you'd like me to focus on. You can hit me up at Twitter, at Plaid Stallions. We've got a Facebook page, PlaidStallions.com. And we've got our own group, Pod Stallions. So check us out. Thanks for watching.